looks like goddamn Mario Kart. Checkered everything. There's something on that car. The hand. Daddy's home. What the shit? Race control. You're like, one more car and I'm taking it out of your ass. I'm gonna take this track and make it my bitch. Did you know that races are one of the in the pit? I... I did not know that. Did you not? Uh, the Daddy. IMS is the best there ever was. Daddy doesn't do road cars! <laughs> Daddy only does oval. <laughs> we certainly don't take ourselves that seriously, so you shouldn't. Welcome to Fast Cars, Fast Girls with Abby and Molly. All right. Well, let's warm up them tires. It's episode 19. We're a race report, Texas, from the back porch. Because we did not go to Texas. We did not, in fact, travel to Texas. No. Um, we, we were taking a lot of days off this year to go to races, but... Uh, Texas did not make the cut. Texas didn't make the cut. Maybe next year when I've got a new job. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's also really maybe if, hot. It is super hot there, but yeah. Also, maybe if all of you share our podcast with your friends and family, we can start making money off this thing, and then just, we'll get to go to all the races. Just putting that out there for so, you. Yeah. Just if you want, if you want more in-person race coverage, <laughs> share this podcast. Yeah, please help a sister out with your friends and family. It's fine. Yeah, or even people you don't like. I don't care. Yeah, just take their phone. We're just we're, we're just looking for bodies here. Download it, and there you go. Yeah, and then be done. All right, so Texas is going to be the primary, but. Two things of news, and then, you know, we should at least talk about Le Mans for a minute at the end. Yeah. Just, just for a minute. Yeah. Just, 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 just for a beat. Just a scotch. <laughs> just a beat. So, first off, as far as news is concerned, um, the internet went crazy again. Oh, my gosh. And this comes from two people who make wild accusations. Like, oh, I, I, I don't even, I, I don't want to say it because it's completely false, but I just want to bring it up. Um, apparently, everybody thought that Wickens was moving to Penske, uh, but Penske has three cars with Newgarden, Power, and Pagano. They're not adding a fourth, except for Elio, and those three drivers are all on long-term contracts, as, by the way, so is Robert Wickens. Yeah, so... Stop. Calm down. Stop. Hold your horses. Keep your shirt on. Think for a minute before we press send. There's a reason you have two ears and one mouth. Yes. Okay, you should you should listen twice as much as you speak. You should go, hmm, that's interesting. Penske already has three drivers. Does this make sense? No. No, it does not. It does not. Wickens is not moving to Penske. Everybody calm down. Just stop. I mean, not next year anyway. I think it's a f- three to five year contract with Wickens. I think he might have a three, yeah. So Somewhere and- in there. But yeah, so it'll, it'll be a couple years. Now, might he move to Penske in the future? That's Maybe. definitely a possibility. Perhaps. But... Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> but it's not happening in 2019. No. He is. He's with Schmidt. Yeah. By the way, perhaps is the way that my sister-in-law, um, like, acknowledges an idea that she thinks is dumb when she's at work. Like, when she's professional. They're like, we should do it. She's like, perhaps. Perhaps. It's a good Or word. we can. It's like her version of that's adorable. Uh-huh. Um, which, so. again, yeah, they actually did not replay that. They did not, which I hate. Because I was saying that's adorable at work long before... Uh, Hinch last year, and so when he said that, even my old manager sent me a, a gif of him saying that's adorable, because I used to say it so much at work. I'm just really upset they didn't replay it. I am too. Also upset it's not on a t-shirt, and yeah. somebody needs to see that. Somebody needs to make that into a t-shirt for sure. Well, we can, we'll we'll link to it. We can, we can link to the, uh, the that's adorable. The, the interview? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like... There's a t-shirt? No, no, no. To the interview. To him saying it. Oh, yeah. Obviously. It's yeah, we'll link comments. to it since, no, since nobody, nobody else did. Yeah, we'll do it. It's fine. Um, also, news out of Texas. Graham signed a... That's why I had five years. Graham signed a five-year contract with Ray Hall Letterman. Yes. Everything. Which there were a bunch of uh, polls on Twitter about, does he... Did he earn the five-year or did he not? Well, um, I'm thinking after Texas, he did. He said, oh, y'all are con- y'all are confused? Y'all are confused make- about the fact that Graham Ray Hall makes moves? Let me Let me show you. Let me, yeah, let me show you why. Sit down, Junior. It's not just because my dad owns the team, okay? <laughs> it's not. First off, it's a partnership. And I will say, uh, Billy Joel was not involved in the contract negotiations for Graham <laughs> 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 couldn't, I uh, couldn't. It was right there. You can never unsee that. You can never unsee that. You also can't unsee. We'll have to tweet it out, I guess. Although I'm sad because he didn't. He crashed out the uh, Ed Carpenter. Oh, yes. Cowboy emoji hat. 
They yeah, are, you you can't unsee that. They are both the same thing. Yeah, Ed, Ed Garbiner winning Texas, his smile is identical to the damn smiley emoji. With the cowboy hat on. With the cowboy hat on. So they're both yeah. wearing cowboy hats, and they're smiling, and, well, you can't unsee that. Nope, it's, uh, That's they look more alike than him and his illegitimate son, pick it. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my hot Ed, take. Ed Carpenter is now the cowboy hat emoji. He is. That's that's who it was based off of. So, so you heard it here first. If we ever send a cowboy hat emoji, Avi, we're talking about Ed Carpenter. We mean Ed Carpenter. We mean daddy. Yeah, it's fine. All right, well, let's get into this uh, this review. Oh, Texas. I, it's another year. It's another... It's just another wild show. I don't even know what to talk it about. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I, I will say that. I really... I was... I... I I was almost dreading Texas because last year was such a shit show of carnage. Well, we talked about it going in. Like, we didn't want to speak it into existence, but there was a legitimate and real concern about what was going to happen. Yeah. And thankfully... We didn't have any red flags. Not too bad. We yeah. had, we we had, had some. a few accidents, but not, not not anything awful. The big one. Yeah. We had just, like, maybe two or ones. Yeah, nothing that took out the majority of the field. Yeah. half the field didn't get taken out in a wreck. So, so that's a plus. That's that's always a good thing. Um, tire blistering, though. Well, and it was interesting. Last year, they had tire blistering, like, across the board. And yeah. I know the evening practice after quals, there was concern about tire blistering. But then, during the race, like, the Penske guys had some serious tire blistering. But other cars didn't. I think it really came down to setup. It, it obviously did, since it was mainly, I mean, because we were talking while we were watching the race about you know, how the Hondas were taking it away, and I thought that part of that could be attributed to mm -hmm. their engine, even though typically the Honda engines don't fare as well on the big super speedways, on the big ovals, as the Chevys do, because of how their, their power gets transitioned into the car from the engine. Except for the IMS for the past couple of years, but not this year. It's yeah. Year for Hondas. Yeah. Um, and so... So, yeah, so, but with Chevy, you know, with that power transferring super fast for Chevy, I think that that was a, a bad thing for the tires. Well. And I think that Penske's setup only accentuated that As we say, Penske tends to have a stiffer setup, and that's going to. I mean, when you have a stiffer setup, there's not as much leeway. Yeah, so your tires are really going to take it. Yeah, and to just totally put it into, you know, like everyday terms, like there's just not as much leeway. It's yeah. stiffer. It's, it's a lot stiffer. You doesn't have as much give. motion. Yeah. There's not as much give. And, yeah, I think that's why their tires... Uh... It was. And it wasn't... And I will say the... You could see it on the tires, but it wasn't... It, it still wasn't like it was last year. Oh, hell no. I mean, it was bad, but last year was obviously horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I will say that... You know, we'll just go ahead and... I mean, we never, ever have a flow, but... Um, Simon's those last couple of laps. My God. It's amazing that he finished that race I think and didn't blow a tire. Everybody was concerned about that. Yeah. Well, most of all, Simon and his crew. Yeah. But there was no way they were going to pit. No, you can't at that point. No, there was not enough time. So, and he finished second, and so that paid off. And I was like, and his tire blows now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, they crossed and the uh, start finish. I was like, and Pagano's tire blows now. I'm like, okay, cool. So. Um, Qualls did start off. It started off as a Penske party. It sure did. Um, but it did not end it that way. It did not way. finish that way. The Hondas, except for Pagano, I think the Hondas kind of took it. Eight out of the ten were Hondas. For the end of the race. Yes, yeah, at the end. But it started off... Yeah, it started off like it was going to be a Penske party, because one, two, and three, it was uh, New Garden, Pagano, and Will Power. And, uh, yeah, New Garden did not fare so well. Nope. Um, and he got a penalty. Yeah. drive through for jumping the start. Power did not fare well. At no, all. Power um, Power had an unfortunate mistake. Uh, he collected ZCD because he was lifting in the turns as mm -hmm. he was attempting to to save fuel and save tire. Um, and his engineer was speaking to him, so his spotter couldn't get through because it's all the same frequency. Mm -hmm. And so it's if you have ever used walkie-talkies, if you're all on the same frequency, if one person is talking and the other person tries to talk, you can't get in. Boy. There's somebody already in. How frustrated do you think his spotter was at that moment? Oh, his spotter was probably like in, like screaming out there, "Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Shut up!" Just yelling, "No, stop it! Will, stop it! Like, shut, shut up!" He's like, "Hi, uh, on the outside, on the outside, on the outside!" You can't hear me. 
He's screaming at the top of his lungs, hoping that his voice will carry. Just, like, mentally throwing it at him. Oh, God, that's frustrating. Yeah. It's absolutely frustrating. So, oh. not exactly, well, I mean, willpower was the cause of that incident, but yeah. his spotter was not in his ear because his engineer was. And I don't know what the hell his engineer was saying, but I hope it was important. <laughs> I hope it was. Was it worth it? Was it? Hey, mate, where do you want to go for dinner afterwards? Right? Like, have that work out for you. Hey, guys, how's everybody feeling? Like, it... it better I be hope it was something important. Oh, boy, I hope so. I hope so. Oh, although it became much less important since they wrecked out of the race. <laughs> okay. So, whatever he was saying ended up not mattering. It was, in fact, not important. <laughs> not that important. Not that important. Have that work out for you. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, but, yeah, no, power didn't do well, but Patrick now. Imagine Started P2, P2, finished P2. Hey, man, he was like, I'm going to just stay here in two. So, I mean, he definitely, he tried to make some moves, um, but it, it wasn't happening with Dixon. Dixon got out ahead and I mean, just took just, off. Rossi kept trying to get P2, and Pagano was having no part of that. God, which, okay, first of all, I think everybody needs to stop saying that they're, they can't get up close, because Rossi was, I mean... I have been farther away from people I've done pelvic exams on, okay? Literally, I was like... Because he was just popping in and out of Pagano's butt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, but he was so close. So close to everybody. Everybody. He like, was up Will Powers' ass. He was just... He was up Pagano's ass. Oh, like, yeah, he was just kept popping out from behind people. And it was like, oh, there's Rossi. Oh. He's moving again. Oh. Oh. Watch out now. <laughs> he's right behind you. Now he's in front of you. Now he's in front of you. He's a magic man. Now you see him? Now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But yeah, he made some serious moves. So if anybody wants to say that this race wasn't exciting, I would like to officially invite you all to, to suck, suck it. It was very exciting. It was. There was lots of passing. RHR held his own. He finished in fifth. I mean, we had moves. Uh, let's see. Hinch went from 15th to 4th. Thank Which, God. About damn time. Damn. I mean, honest to God, what the fuck has been wrong with that I car? I don't know. And it's not just Lena because, it, like, it's not Lena. That's clearly not the issue. I don't want to say it's not just, because that seems accusatory in itself, but, like, qualified not so great this time either. Yeah, Lena's not the issue. Um, the problem is that his qualifying time was the same as his race setup time. Mm-hmm. So, no, he didn't, I mean, it, he was better, he was a little bit better in qualifying. I don't want anybody to come at me and be like, I was blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Actually! <laughs> but, yeah, he, he didn't qualify that great, but his race setup time was fine, and so he was able to make moves and finish fourth. But... Yeah. Like, what in the hell is going on with that team? I don't know. And it all happened after, and we talked about this via text this week, uh, during the testing and ROP and all that business, multiple people used Tinch's car. And I don't know what the fuck happened to it. It's time to smudge it. It's time for a smudging. All right. I'll get the sage. I will hold down Hinch. That's... I mean, does he need to be smudged or just the car? Oh. Both. We could also get holy water, right? Yeah. Like I said before, my mother has holy water in this house. Can you put holy water on a Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. I don't know. They live in God's country. Of course you can. Just saying. The Great White North. They love the holy water. They love the whole... Okay, well, well, we'll take care of this. Schmidt -Peters I mean, they used to be under British rule. They're Anglicans. That's all right. All right. We'll allow it. We'll allow we, it. we do holy water there, too. <laughs> we do. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Hinch made moves. We talked about Ray Hall making moves. You know who didn't make moves? And uh, I have a concern. Because a certain team apparently is trying to, quote, turn it around. There is a team that's been trying to turn it around. I've heard a lot of people talk I mean, about I mean, how how what they're doing is turning it around. But I, I have just, a hard time believing when what, that AJ Foyt Racing is, in fact, turning, turning it around, around when their veteran driver... Uh, Snapped a suspension after he kissed the wall. Yep. Yep. Uh, and is a rookie driver. That shit, I don't... What happened? I I have had controlled fires that didn't start as fast. <laughs> First of all, watching the steering wheel on Matthias lays just... I'm surprised he didn't hit another car. No he shit. He chucked it. Like, not... He didn't toss it. He chucked it. He whipped it like a battery. Okay. No, he... I've never seen an IndyCar driver move that fast outside of a vehicle. And like, he was like a kid. He was like, now I'm in the car. Now I'm out the car. Now, now I'm on the fence. <laughs> now I'm on the fence. He pulled an alio. Didn't even win the race. He's like, I'm, I don't like fire, guys. I don't like fire. I 
fire is my trigger and I'm out. Yeah, like, was he in a house fire as a child? Because concerned. Yeah, I feel like, like he's got... That was like PTSD movement away. He was hauling ass. I mean, and it wasn't... It wasn't a little fire. Oh, no. No, they it saw, was... They saw that fire miles away. People were calling 911 in Texas going, I think an oil field's on fire. People in Austin <laughs> called 911. Some on fire. Because that smoke was black. Yeah. It was, that was straight oil. So, maybe, I mean. And also, why in the actual fuck did it take the safety team that long to get there? It took way longer than it should have. Yeah, I'm sorry. At IMS, they're there right away. And this is a smaller this track. So Where were you? Where were you? Were you taking a nap? Like, and and I normally don't have anything negative to say about AMR. No. Previously, whole mantra. Uh, but, that damn. Was... That was like, bad. Was somebody in the shitter? What happened? Maybe they do usually post up next to a potty. I mean, I ain't mad at that game, but you gotta, I mean, it's like when I go to the bathroom at work, I'm like, this is going on my patients. I'm going to the bathroom, right. which means if anything happens, like when I come to the bathroom, I expect you to be manning, like, like ha- handling everything. With like you're in control. In bathroom, roll up without them. Yeah. It's a fire. Get the fire extinguished. I know you've got extra people. Okay. That's standard. That's SOP. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I, yeah, so I just... Um, Alright, I'm going straight to hell for this. Straight Do to it. hell. Do um, it. But we had earlier... We had earlier ta- talked about how the track deserved a rookie sacrifice. So, it nearly burnt a rookie. <laughs> and it also popped Wiggins into the wall. So, sure did. I'm just saying, we weren't wrong. No. We were not wrong. No. And actually, Clement and Mello also... Yeah, the track demanded multiple sacrifices. You know what? There's volcanoes happening. Pele is unhappy. The track needed more sacrifices. It needed three. I don't know. And I think the the fire, I mean... Uh, lace. Lace, yeah. Lace with the fire. I mean, I think that was... That one was actually just pay homage to Pele. Yeah, the track was like, I mean, we see what you're doing out there. Right? Like, listen, we're not in the ring of fire, but we see what's happening. We respect it. But we liked to be. And then it took Wiggins, and then it took Zach. Claiming to Mello, and really the only reason that Veach is safe is because of Jesus. That's that's pretty much I mean, it. I mean, he kissed the wall early, but he didn't. He did, but he did not. He didn't fuck it up as much as no. uh, TK did when he kissed the wall. So Jesus, oh, Pete. Oh, I mean, he tried. It tried to take Veach, and he was like, "Not today." He said, "Jesus, take the wheel." Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Now I want a dub over video of his in car camera with Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how to do that, but somebody out there in internet world. There's a way to do it. <laughs> oh, I know there's a way. Yeah. I don't have time. I know. I need somebody else to do that. Actually, I want a. I want. <laughs> I want a compilation of Rex of the drivers <laughs> all like the in car where they all let go, and I want it to be Jesus take the wheel, but a compilation of drivers, the in car cameras <laughs> of them the le- yeah just ditching the wheel. Why has nobody done this? I don't know, because that's hilarious. I would cry laughing. Yeah. I mean, as long as they all walk, the ones where they all walk away. Yeah, I don't want any fatalities in this video. I mean, it's not how we play. Safety is number one. Humor is number two. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Oh, but yeah, that track, it took three rookies. It took three rookies down. Yeah. Three out of four. But for the grace of God, literally. Yeah. Zach Zach Beach. So. Yep. Uh, Mark didn't fare as well as I thought he would have. He only yeah. finished 14th. Definitely had Newgarden finished 13th. I mm-hmm. thought that I did not put him on my fantasy. Apparently I did. Um, I Disappointed by that, uh, personally. I now have to apologize to many people because I said Ed and nope. You thought wrong. I thought wrong with Ed. Uh, While you're apologizing, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for Tony Kanaan, my sleeper. <laughs> I mean, Marco was my sleeper. At least he finished the race. He did finish the race, so... Mm. But you know what? The Firehawk should apologize for Will Power, <laughs> so it's okay. We're watching you, Firehawk. Yeah. We're on to you. I am watching you. Oh, uh, yeah. Not a... I mean, a, an okay week for my fantasy had I not had Newgarden, which I didn't think that I did. Uh, uh, this is the problem with me picking drivers when I'm like... Ha- like, I was flipping my schedule. I was not with it. Mm. It'll be so nice to be on just straight day shift. God, I can't wait to start my new job. 
I, you're not going to know what to do with yourself. I, no. No. I'm going to have clear thoughts all the time. It's going to be so weird. I know. I'm not going to know I'm what to do with not going to flip my this. schedule again. Oh. Did we talk about the willpower ZCD accident? We didn't. We did, yeah, because his spotter wasn't in his ear. We did, all right. Yeah. So he did get punished for that. Oh, yeah, he did. Which, yeah. we don't know what the punishment is. It's just post-race, and we're so, recording this... Immediately post-race. Immediately post-race. So it could be um, money, it could be points. I'm going to bet it's going to be money. Which is a shitty thing to do, because they like to, they like to ding other people's points. I know this. But they won't do it for Will because, what, he's leading in the championship? Oh, I would 100% that's yeah. probably... It's fucking he's, race he's control. He's currently, by the unofficial, he's third now because Dixon and Rossi's finishes. Mm -hmm. Let's see, he's at 2, 321, and, and yeah. he's, he's still in it, though. Definitely still in it. Yeah. But... Um, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> Rossi, tires. I'm just going through the... The notes. No, you're fine. While we're discussing this, if you don't follow us on social media, you should. <laughs> you can find everything you want to know about the Fast Cars, Fast Girls on our website, www.fastcarsfastgirls.com. Um, if you're too lazy to go there, it's all right. We've got an Insta. We've got a Twitter. We've got a Facebook. You can just search Fast Cars, Fast Girls. You'll find us on any one of them. I don't even need to give you the ads. Just search it. You'll find us. It's we're fine. a good time. If you think we're funny here... Well, we're hysterical online. I mean, our social media is pretty... It's off the hook. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What can I say? I mean, I don't... I'm, we're kind of a big deal. Uh, you kind of want to have to get on board with this. Yeah, we're, we're kind of a big deal. You can also check out our Snapchat as well um, for races that we are actually at, yeah. which will the next one that we will be at on the road. Again, taking the shit show on the road. Oh, boy. Because... I mean, they just can't get enough of us. They really can't, though. They really can't. So... No, people demanded it. I yes. feel like... We are the People's Podcast, and we go where the people demand, and so we are going to Road America in two weeks. Oh, boy. Up at Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Where apparently the uh, concession stands per any car are, quote, fantastic. They are fantastic. In fact, I saw a list of the concession stands. Oh. Quite a few of them have cheese in their name. <laughs> we are going to have fried cheese. Oh, I'm going to have so much cheese that I'm not going to ship for a week and a half after this race. I'm so excited for fried cheese. So when you see me at that race... Just understand that I'm bloated because I'm not pooping. <laughs> because I'm I'm gonna eat my body weight in cheese over that Just weekend. Cheese. I love cheese. I'm so excited for cheese. Oh, we are the cheese podcast. <laughs> we are. Hashtag bring back fried, fried cheese. cheese. We're gonna get it. I want to look at our points. Oh my goodness. They're not up yet. No, no, no. Oh, our oh for picks. ours. Oh yeah. Okay, so I said. Yeah, you told me I didn't. Yeah, I'm so fucked on this. All no, right. no, you got two. You got I got two. You got a pageant All right. point? So, yeah. So, I said pageant over top five. I got a point. He came in yep. second. I picked power for first. Wrong. Nope. I picked carpenter for top ten. Wrong. Nope. But I did pick lace for first <laughs> out. <laughs> you got the, you got the, the elusive first out point, too. It is very elusive. It's more elusive than your first place. It sure is. So, you got two. Uh, I picked Rossi for first. He podium, so I got the point five. Pity book. Pity point. Yeah. It's a point .5 podium pity point. Whew. It is. Uh, I picked Ed for top five. Wrong. Nope. Didn't happen. Not sure did not. Nope. And I was quite salty. Quite salty. Yes, you were. You, you and Daddy. I dr drowned my sorrows in at Fuzzy's podcast. Uh, you are welcome to sponsor this podcast. <laughs> uh, Pagano top ten, so I did get a point for him. And then Wiccans first out. Nope. No, he, although... He did go out, and I told everybody in my locks, drops, and sleepers, he's not going to... He's not going to survive this race. And in fact, I called it last time. I believe I said that Texas would destroy him. Yeah. I think that's what I said if the IMS threw him for a loop. Texas will destroy him. Although he was doing very well, and he just... He, he was. It was fault. Ed. Ed crowded him. He did. And, and that was Ed's fault. And Ed, Ed actually admitted that he it was said, his fault. He was like, you know what? I didn't give him room. So. So, yeah. You know but, what? Daddy does apologize. Occasionally. Occasionally. Occasionally, Daddy will apologize. Sometimes fathers say they're wrong. Well, maybe not wrong. <laughs> yeah, not not wrong, wrong per se. I'm sorry that your car was there. <laughs> I'm sorry that your car was there, and then my car was there, and... Yeah, not, it's my race. fault. I was the cause of that. It's more, 
I'm sorry that your car was there, and what I'm I sorry that you done. feel bad <laughs> about the fact that I crashed into you. What you what you should have done is, <laughs> yeah. So, um, what else you got about Texas? Um, I think that's about it. I mean, it was an exciting race. We had a lot of of changes. It was. I just I'm tired of people who. Uh, the lead didn't change, so it wasn't exciting. Well, if you're just watching Actually, the race... the lead did change, but... It did, but... Yeah. I mean, Dixon led... No oh, poop. 119 laps. Yes. So, I can see where people are like, he didn't lead a lot. Well, you know what? There were moves throughout that whole race. Damn right there were. So, I get the TV focuses on the lead, but there were passes being... Made there were, and actually, they spent um, more time in Ray Hall's cockpit than I would than I would than I appreciated. I know there's a minute I was like, I was like, come on, guys, I get let's, it. Like, can, can we move on to a different view? Like, it's a short track. Let's go. Like, two or three laps is fine, but let's let's go somewhere else. Let's move on. We've yeah, we've seen this now. I I, I get what's happening. Thank you. Yes, thanks for that. Thank you. I'd let's like to be move. done. Yeah. Let's be done. So, yeah, I don't think that I have anything else, really, for Texas. Um, it's a good race. I'm disappointed in myself that I did, in fact, pick New Garden. Did we talk about the jumping restarts that apparently happened? Oh, yeah. A shit ton of people wanted to jump restarts. Yeah. Because... Um, Some of them should have known better. Um, they all should have known better. Well, I'll give a rookie one jumping up a restart. Fair. Just one. Like, that's it. You don't get another one. Sure. So, Veach jumped one. Ed Jones jumped one, and Newgarden jumped one. Yeah. That one surprises me the most. He knows better. Like, huh? who's in your ear who's like, oh, it's green. Okay. Like, yeah. What? Huh? Uh, un- unnecessary. Nope. So. Yeah, that was a... Uh, it was a good race, though. It was a good race, yeah. Very surprising for Newgarden. Definitely fucked up his day. Oh, yeah. Well, that, and I think, didn't, after after Veach kissed the wall, he kissed, kissed Nui a little bit. I don't know. That I don't recall saying. I thought he did. I might be wrong on that, though. Well, it was something. Only three cautions. Yeah, not bad. I mean, really, one for that weird-ass fire. Mm-hmm. That I can't wait to see what happened. I know he was saying the car stopped. Like the car yeah, because he definitely slowed down before. Yeah, no, so. and, and Lace even said, like, basically, he ran, like, the power just stopped. Pulled it on over. Um, and then it caught fire. Sure did. Yeah. And not a little fire. It caught a lot of fire. It was a lot of fire. Yeah. It, w- it was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll be interested to see the postmortem on that one. Yeah. I think that, that engine just blew. It's still hilarious to me that on the unofficial results, it just has, it's, usually it's running, contact mechanical, fire. Fire. <laughs> it's just Matthias Lace. Fire. fire. They couldn't... Oh, which we've been calling him Matires Lost. Yep. We've had it uh, adjusted a little bit. My car is toast. So, you're welcome, internet. My tire's lost. My car is toast. My car is toast. Mateus laced. Damn. Taking AJ Foyt into the 21st century. Yep. Turning that team right the fuck around. Turn it around. Aren't you so glad you got rid of Daly and Munoz? Yeah. I don't... Larry. Larry. Your rosé is bad. You should feel bad. Mm. 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 I was going to say, you never saw Connor's car catch on fire, but then I remembered that it actually had happened. It did, in fact, catch on fire. Yeah, so I can't really say But now when he was with AJ Foyt Racing. But not when he was in Foyt, so I feel yes. like I can, maybe I can say that. It did, in fact, catch on fire. It did catch fire. Yeah, that was a weird moment. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not his best year. Not his best 500. No. So, but yeah, exciting race. And now we have a week off, so we all can enjoy Le Mans. Lamont is this upcoming weekend, you know, the 24 hours of Le Mans, one of the Triple Crowns. Yes. Um, so, actually, the two drivers um, with Triple Crown, I never know what word to use, but... Contention? Yeah. Um, actually, everybody's talking about Fernando, because this will be him attempting to secure the second part of the Triple Crown. He has one Monaco. Yep. Um, but really, Juan, if... Should he win, and he's in an LMP2, um, he would complete the Triple Crown. Because he's also won Monaco and Indy. That's right. People seem to forget that one. 
It's because he's such a prima donna. I know, but that's mm-hmm. still a big deal. Like we want I know, somebody... he is, yeah, that is actually a really big deal. Which, I mean, I've said on this podcast before. Juan can drive anything. Juan, Juan, will drive, Juan will drive the tour bus. It's fine, Juan can drive the tour. I feel like what we need is, okay, I'm going to go old school SNL, nice. the Bears skits. <laughs> yeah. The Bears. Juan. And so my favorite is like, now if the Bears were in the Indy 500, <laughs> what do you think would win? Well, is, is Ditka driving the bus? If Ditka's on the bus, Ditka's driving the bus. The Bears. The Bears would win it all. The Bears. And I feel like that's Juan Pablo. Yeah. Like, I want a, I want a skit made. Like, is, is Juan driving the bus? If Juan is on the bus, Juan is driving the bus. Juan. Juan will win. Juan Pablo Montoya. Juan will win. Juan will win it all. As long as his natural enemy, the jet dryer, is not anywhere nearby. And the plastic bag. And the, oh, my God. He's got lots of natural enemies. Bad plastic bag till this day. <laughs> that man has to have a shit list longer than I can even read. <laughs> I can't. Uh, uh, that plastic bag was fantastic. I'm so glad we got to witness it together in person. Right there. And it was right in front of us. Too. It was. That's what made it even yeah, better. I was like, oh, no, but he's going to wave this off. There's a bag on the track. There's a bag on the track. Bag on the track. Hold up. <laughs> he's going to get new tires. He's going to get, yeah. He's going to go Juan. Yeah. He's going to he's gonna pitch a fit. Yeah. So, so yeah, both both Juan and Fernando have sort of triple crown implications. That was the word I was. Thinking but for. Fernando's never won the eighty five hundred. Juan has won twice, and right. so if he wins, then he's he, done. He's got it. He will have the triple crown. Right. So, so he's got two out of the three, and Fernando has one out of the three. Yes. Um. Let's see. Other drivers. Mikhail is is driving for SPM's LMP one. Really? They're still partnering with him. He does. No, he does the Schmidt Peterson like. Endurance LMP driving. I had no idea he was still working for them. Yeah, he must still be under contract. That was a whole deal. He moved over to that. Okay, so they couldn't outright fire him because he was still under contract, and they would have had to still pay him. Is my assumption. I mean, not having read the contract, I would assume so. I mean, if you take somebody off of your like premier team, but you still have have them on the roster, I believe it's because of contractual obligations. I believe that's called the Juan Pablo Montoya treatment. I believe that's calling getting legally screwed, but yeah, the JPM treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jackie Chan's racing group is back. Yeah, they are. So maybe we'll get our Ninja Pit crew. Please, Ninja Pit crew. I just, just, I just, I want it to happen so bad. It's just an all black fire suit. I don't understand what the problem is. And like a little. A little, right. No, yeah, a little, funny. like a little, yeah, a little bandana thing around the eyes. Yeah. Well, maybe make the helmets painted that way. Oh, yes. I mean, otherwise, I think you got safety issues. Fair. I mean, That's fair. I like a ski mask. Oh. But like the wicking, the cooling stuff. The balaclava, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the balaclava. Thank you, yes. Yeah, but yeah, that and all black. That would also work. I yes. I they all wear a balaclava. They all do it anyway. You might as well just get them black ones. Just get them black ones, guys. I mean, I get it. If they catch on fire, you can't see it. But isn't it worth it? <laughs> but, but is it not worth it? Is it not worth it? The answer is yes. Oh, I want to see them, like, choreograph a pit stop just for funsies with, like, ninjas jumping around all nimbly-bimbly and, like, doing tumbling and cartwheels and flips and shit. I would pay so much. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, but I would pay so much. And then our indie drivers, so uh, TK, Scott, and Borte are all driving with uh, Ford, Chip Ganassi, and the GTE Pro. Excellent. Also Ryan Briscoe. Okay, good for Ryan. <laughs> also Ryan Briscoe. So, Excellent. So I'm surprised that uh, TK is still speaking to Chip. It's uh, it was interesting to see that name. Yeah, I was like, okay. I, I believe that they did not end last season on great terms. Didn't feel like it. Didn't seem like that. No, but money talks. I mean, he got three kids and another one on the way. Damn. So plus, that man clearly needs some more hobbies where he's standing up. Tough. Let him, his wife's like, please let him drive the endurance race. My so body goes, can't handle oh it. Plus he keeps wrecking cars. So, you know, Good God. Going? Yeah. Whoever's on his team is going to be biting their nails. Please don't fuck up our ride. Please don't, don't fuck up our ride. ride. Please. This is the only race you're on. Don't ruin it. Oh, and it's a shame. And I picked TK for my fantasy. Obviously he was my sleeper. I love TK, but I think I'm done wasting money and points on him this year. I know. Which leads me to believe again, there's a problem with AJ Foyt racing cars. 
I don't want to say that I put it on there this season, but I'm not, not saying I didn't put it on there. I don't think that it ever left from last season. We never smudged each that car. We never okay. smudged that car. That is true. We talked about it, but we, we never did we it. We did, and now that uh, they fired Connor, I'm not going to smudge you that car. No. No. Nope, you can kiss my ass, Larry Floyd. <laughs> no, I'm not. Larry, no. Not, not doing it. Nope. Not gonna do it. We got other cars we got to smudge eat. Yeah, we have other cars to smudge, so. It's fine. Yeah. We, yeah, the number five arrow car is getting smudged. I don't know what's going on. I just don't know. I don't know, but I feel like we need a shaman, a <laughs> Catholic priest. The rare elusive Episcopal nun. Yes, definitely the, yes. She's got the reclusive kids. Episcopal nun. Yep. Um, a shit ton of holy water. Yeah. Some sage. I don't know what else. I don't know. I mean, we definitely need to have communion in front of that vehicle. Mm-hmm. Can we get the priest from the exorcist? We need transubstantiation to occur in front of that vehicle. I want the priest from the exorcist. Okay. I feel like that's the level we're going to have to go to. Or the priest that did mass at the bar on St. Patrick's Day. Both would be good. Yeah. Either one. One Both. can exercise the car. The other one can serve as mass. Yes. So. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, we need, we need a lot of things for that, yeah. that five arrow I car. I just. I'm really glad to see Hinch finish in fourth, though. I was going to... Because we love Hunch. (laughs) We love (laughs) Hunch. We love Hunch. (laughs) What happens when we record right after a race? It's late for you. It's It's late late for me. me. (sighs) (laughs) Yeah, no, I'm, I'm still recovering from my work week. That's true. Yes. So, but anyhow, no, we love Hinch, and I hate to see him not do well. So I'm glad to see him finish fourth. But I am too. There's definitely still something seriously fucking know. wrong with that car. I, I Ever since Barbara, that car has been fucked. I'm gonna do a deep dive. I don't know what I'm gonna find, but. Mm. In other news, it's kind of old news, but Lena Gay talked with RLL. Yeah. And yeah, Bobby Rahal was quick to say like it was just talking, like right. there was nothing decided or whatever. But I mean. I retweeted some. I don't remember who tweeted it, but they said something along the lines of like it would be remiss of yeah. other indie car teams to like let this talent slip away. I mean, I... well, and they listed yesterday um, or on Friday or early Saturday morning. Um, I think it was today. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was Saturday. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. But something about like the top ten Le Mans wins. Oh, and, and yeah. Lena retweeted it and she was like, two "I was involved with two of them." Like, so... she a badass bitch. She a badass bitch. Um, and don't have anything evidence, but I think Lena was a sacrificial goat. Oh, I think she 100% was a sacrificial goat. And I get it. It's biz- like, I, I don't like it, but I understand the necessity. I mean, I do and I don't, because the thing is, is that I feel like it was sponsors who demanded, and this is all speculation, yeah, I have like, no basis no on idea. this, but this I feel like it was sponsors while. who demanded, like, we need somebody to do sacrifice to account for the fa- for this huge fuck up, and I don't think that it was her fault, but she was the last man in, so she's the first one out. Yeah. Um, and I think she got screwed on that. No, and which is just shitty because there's so many moving parts there. Oh yeah. And and also, like, okay, you didn't qualify well for one fucking race. Like it was the fifth race. They oh, I they agree. they had done well the previous four, but oh, one race you don't qualify for. I get that it's a big deal. It is double points at the Indy five hundred. It's more important than winning the championship. I understand all No, hundred percent. I'm yeah. a huge Indy five hundred lover and supporter. However, to sacrifice one person for that? Bullshit. No, Total no, bullshit. It was, it was completely sponsors. So, um, I will say I'm not surprised that Schmidt Peterson Motorsport didn't push back on that at all. Um, I don't feel like they have a long history of being loyal to the people they work with. Yeah. And I will say that. Um, <clears throat> but it was still shitty. But hopefully RLL picks her up and you know I'd what? I'd love that. I'd love to see her stay in any car. I... I Really wish that she would, I think. Mm-hmm. She's smart. She's talented. Obviously, she's fucking talented. Very talented. You don't win at a Le Mans race and not have talent, so. No, definitely not. We'll see. We will. Well, what do you think? Should we white flag it? I think we should white flag it. What do you got? Well, it's a great race tonight. Fucking is. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay with having next week off so we can enjoy Le Mans. Plus, I got a little bit of a busy work schedule mm-hmm. this week. Not too many days off in between work days. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to, uh, to have a little downtime on the IndyCar. 
Um, and then I'm just giddy that we're going to be in Wisconsin two weeks from now. So I think, think that's what I got. What about you? Yeah. Um, nice to have a weekend off, although I'll be at, um, the Brickyard Invitational Sunday. But yeah, then we're going to Road America and we're going to be doing some more fun stuff with Indie Carnation. That's right. We yeah. are. So make sure you follow Indie Carnation on social media. Yeah. If you're not a member, join. You can join for free. Uh, but the, the perks and benefits really come in when you get into the champion and the legend level. And, so And it like their lower level isn't that bad. No, it's not. I think that's what we should do. <laughs> well, initially we did like the free last year and then this year yeah, we did the we, champion level. We upgraded. Level. Um, and you do get a lot of fun stuff, and, and they, do. they do a great job, and, um, well, I don't know, they're letting us do stuff, so. They can't be half bad. I don't know what that says about them, but it means they're they're down to party. Yeah, they like to party, just like we do. And it's a great group of people, by the way. It is. The people who run Indie Carnation are just fantastic. And everybody, like, all of the fans who are there, I'd say. Yeah. All the Indie Carnation members that we've come in contact with, I mean, are just fantastic. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, we had an awesome time partnering with them in May, and so we're real excited that we get to partner with them um, for all the races that we're going to be at in person for the rest of the season. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. So, yeah. So make sure to uh, check out Indy Carnation. Check us out. Um, see what we're doing with them. And uh, come say hi to us if you're at a race. Yeah. Well, let's check a flag. Let's do it. Thanks for listening.